follow-up questions in conversation. If you are listening to understand versus listening to respond, then a follow-up question is a powerful way to confirm your understanding. A follow-up question enables the person you're communicating with to experience a greater level of self-awareness and ensures that you understand or get what they are saying. Why are follow-up questions so powerful? They signal to your conversation partner that you are listening, that you care, and that you wanna know more. People interacting with a partner who asks a lot of follow-up questions and listens carefully without judgment tend to feel respected and heard. There are two types of clarity that you can get from follow-up questions. First, clarity for you. When someone shares something with you, a follow-up question helps you clarify your understanding and close the communication circle. There are a lot of reasons that can result in a situation where what you think you heard is actually not what the person meant. The second type of clarity you can get is clarity for your conversation partner. This is at the heart of great coaching. Skilled coaches ask follow-up questions to help the person being coached think about what they've said and reach aha moments that they could never get to on their own. There's something incredibly powerful when someone's deeply listening and asks a follow-up question. It helps excavate your partner's thinking and move them beyond what was already said. The best clarifying question is a neutral and open-ended question versus a closed question. Adding your opinion or judgment to the question is the opposite of neutral. For example, someone shares a challenge they were having about their manager and you say, ah, don't worry about it, they're on their way out anyhow. A better response would be, you said that you were concerned about your manager and then allow them to respond back. Questions with would, should, is, are, and do you think all lead to yes or no, which are closed questions. Questions with who, what, where, when, or how are open questions. They lead to thoughtful answers and provide much more insight than a yes or no. The purpose of a follow-up question is to acknowledge what the person is saying. This is not approval or agreement or even advising. It's simply restating what you heard or asking for more information on a specific element of what you heard. Here's how you can use follow-up questions to create clarity. As you are listening carefully and without judgment, repeat back an especially meaningful bit of conversation. Now, this is not the brush off. Let me demonstrate how well I listen because I can parrot back to you what you said. This is repeating to serve as a mirror in order for the person to continue exploring that conversation path. I was listening to a colleague recently who kept telling me that everything was terrifying. I repeated back that I heard him use the word terrifying repeatedly. I asked what it meant and whether he was intentionally using that word. Through this restatement and follow-up question, he recognized how his repeated use of the word terrifying was actually limiting his thinking. Practice focusing on what the other person is saying. When you sense energy or emotion around something, reflect that back to him or her. You seem to have strong feelings about this. When you're asking follow-up questions to get clarity for yourself, there are a few phrases that are great to add to your conversational toolkit. Think of it as a wrapper. Begin with a statement like, what I heard you say is, then repeat or explain your understanding, followed by, what have I missed? Or how would you improve my understanding? Remember that do you understand isn't useful. That's a yes or no or a closed question. Follow-up reflections or questions enable you to listen, to understand, and listen to connect. Add them to your communication toolkit to increase your level of effectiveness.